Today on Hammer and Steel Reviews, we're going to be looking at this 10th century German Boo Viking helmet by Get Dressed for Battle. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors, WeaponMasters.com, for supplying this helmet. Without their support, none of these videos would be possible. This helmet is one of the only Viking Age helmets that we know how the full helmet was constructed. The German Boo helmet was accidentally found when a farmer dug it up in 1943. It was found in Ringerreich, Norway. Not long after, archaeologists from the University of Oslo went to the site and found large burial mounds. In the mounds, they found many artifacts, chain rings, buckles, weapons, including the fragments of the Jervenbu. It consists of four separate helmet panels, and they're held together with these strips. The oculars are unique to this piece, but the original does have lined engravings into the spectacles. The original helmet has this spike on the top of the helmet. Though the spike is much larger on the reproduction, um, it's thought to be purely decorative. The original most likely saw combat as there are some signs of wear and tear on the helmet. Most notably, the large sword-shaped hole on the side of the helmet. That being said, the damage left by the throwing spears looks a lot like the triangle wound in the side of the original. This is a point of conflict, as some argue that the hole was created by either the plow or mishandling when it was first discovered. That brings us to the main debate about this helmet. Some have argued that the ocularies, or spectacles, act like funnels and do more harm than good. We spent a couple of hours throwing spears and firing arrows at this helmet. We varied in distance to the target, throwing spears of different hefts, different weights, we did notice that whenever we did strike the ocularies, the spear usually ended up in the dummy's cheek or lower jaw. You can see in this shot that the spearhead is diverted into the cheek. Notice how the trajectory changes. At first glance, we felt that this was full confirmation, but on closer inspection, we noticed that the spear hits that hit the ocularies or spectacles often left far less damage. In this same shot, the spearhead slices the dummy's cheek open, but it does not go through the skull, potentially saving the person's life. They would bleed profusely and would most likely die from infection or loss of blood, but you would have a higher chance of surviving. 
We noticed that every hit to the spectacle was slowed enough to not penetrate the skull. Though this isn't definite proof, the amount of damage received to the head without the helmet was, well, fatal. The spectacles would have protected more effectively from, from slashing weapons. When used in conjunction with a shield, the spectacles protected the side of the face as well. Oh, and I've been told that I'm saying it wrong. Apparently it's pronounced Hermanbu. That's probably wrong as well, but I only speak English. The original chain drape on the back of the neck deteriorated, but we know that they were held together by butted rings as there's no visible rivets. This helmet is constructed of 14 gauge mild steel and is constructed to take quite a lot of abuse. The leather lining inside the helmet is fully adjustable, making the helmet much more user friendly. The vision is really good in the helmet and it sits comfortably on the head. The helmet does touch up against my large Romanesque nose, but that is fixed when I put the strap on. The only weak spot I'd say that exists on this helmet, besides the fact that my mouth and jaw and neck are all exposed, is the way the drape is attached to the helmet. I do not like that the butted rings will take the abuse of high impact sword blows. I would not necessarily suggest that you engage in high impact combat though, as you might expect to receive blows to the face and the neck. The best part about this helmet is that it completes a Viking kit so well. Its satin finish is very nice and appealing. I proudly have added this helmet to my personal collection. Thank you all for watching, and if you'd like to pick up this great helmet, please go to WeaponMasters.com and use the promo code HANDSVIEWER2020. That'll get you 10% off your first full order. Thank you all for watching, and if you'd like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to stay up to date with all of our newest videos. Thank you again for watching, and as always, may all your days be filled with history. <laughs>